Hello, Brad here, doing a little video, uh, hopefully under five minutes, on the uh, 49-way Williams joystick uh, converter board. So this will take, uh, like you see here in Arch Rivals or Senna Star, or, uh, there's a few others out there, uh, joystick and convert to an eight-way seven-pin connector, standard like for Bubbles or Splat, um, Inferno, use the same setup. So this is the joystick we're starting with. They're fairly reasonable out there. They're still available. Uh, the problem most people have is they have the wrong ball tops and uh, they can't use this 12-pin uh, connector because it's it's not a standard output. So I've developed a board. Here's a little description on what it does. These are uh, uh, from the board layout tool, the uh, renderings from that. And here's an actual photo I took of a board that's populated. So you'll see it's got the six optical switches, three here, three there. Uh, it's running an Amtel microcontroller, or the process computer, if you will, uh, 16 megahertz, so it's very fast. Uh, there's some dip switches here where you can set the configuration mode. Uh, I'll go through those briefly. Um, standard 7-pin Molex header. Uh, you can plug it right into a Bubbles harness, exact same output. I was able to duplicate the silk screening from Williams on this board. And again, it is a drop and replacement. You need to pull four bolts off. I'll go through the swap out, but literally takes, you know, less than five minutes to swap it out. Here's the board uh, installed in a 49 way. This is kind of interesting. I'll go over this briefly. So basically in a 49 way with the three, uh, optical switches you get in up and down and left and right, you end up with 49 possible positions and this is how they do it. So basically when you move the joystick around, you are in one of these cells at any given time, only one, you can't be in more than one. So as you, you know, the center position here is 24, that's just neutral when the spider is uh, bringing it back to home position. So as you move, you, you move within there. So what my processor does is it takes those six inputs, determines where you're at in, in, in this array, and then based on the dip switch settings in the configuration mode, determines which of the four outputs to turn on and off, uh, the four being up, down, left, and right. So I'll go over the dip switches here real quick. So um, there's four different switches, and with those four, you can create uh, a value of zero to 15 in binary. So this switch is weighted for one, this is two, four, and eight. So if, if you wanted the, the number nine, you would turn eight, uh, the fourth position and one on, which would be eight and one is nine. If you wanted six, it would be two and three. So on the default position is zero. So the different modes here, the default zero mode, um, is in what we're calling a standard eight way. This is very similar to what you get on Robotron or uh, even the bubbles, the optical, uh, this default switch. So this is the way it comes. It gives you a little bit of dead zone here in these first positions, just in case the center, the stick isn't perfectly centered. Uh, you don't get movement. Um, if you've got a really good tight stick, everything's, you know, you like a lot of sensitivity in it, you can go to mode one, which is no dead zone. Um, and then the opposite is true if your stick is real sloppy or you like to slam the thing around um, you can go with a larger dead zone uh, then you can go into four-way emulation where you only get one direction at a time output and then obviously the the areas in red are no outputs at all it's like being centered um, this is a little similar to the four-way above except with a bigger dead zone this is a kind of a unique mode uh, four-way with corners so um, as you move up, you get straight up, um, and then the corners here you'll see are in left and right positions. This is the same configuration, except the corners are up and down. Um, the next is two-way horizontal. Uh, so you get two only two outputs, left and right, and uh, anywhere up and down in the center axis is uh, no output, and then you get the two. Again, dip switch settings for each mode are shown here on the right. Uh, same as above, except vertical, up and down. And then this one's kind of unique as a diagonal. So you always get two outputs simultaneously, uh, up and left, up and right, down and right, and down and left. Um, this area in the wiki article I made uh, goes over kind of the uh, original 49 way parts breakdown, how the uh, slotted optical switches work here. Uh, it's basically a photo transistor and a, uh, an LED uh, diode in there that's emitting IR light. Uh, and then the uh, 
transistors tuned basically to pick up that particular wavelength so you don't have to worry about you know lights or flashlights or something to be able to turn it on um, I also have if you expand this little area here I go through all the different um, kind of the operation of the 49 ways the pinout on the 12 pin Molex uh, what, what each one is um, just kind of an overview and then I do have the uh, source code down here uh, this is a few revisions behind I need to update it for um, what's actually running inside of that process or how it's doing all the decision uh, making if you will the um, I had some concerns early on when I started this project whether I was going to do it with discrete components or try it with a with a microcontroller and um, doing some quick testing and looking at the numbers in terms of latency I was I was worried that you know you move the stick and there would be some sort of perceivable delay between the outputs firing and um, I've checked it with the scope and um, it, it's not going to be able to be detected. It's basically non-existent. It's it's in the uh, uh, nanosecond range, I think about 70 nanoseconds or something like that. But um, basically the processor on this board is running at 16 megahertz. The one on the Williams games is running at you know one megahertz. And then the, the PIA is coming in from the uh, input board, uh, the widget board, IO board. Um, you know, it's not scanning that. PIA that peripheral interface adapter uh, at one megahertz it's scanning at some some interval of that so um, I've, I've got a rig here I'll show you in another video basically how fast it is but 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 in terms of this slowing down it is really a non-issue whatsoever so no worries there so that's a basic overview when you get it put it in uh, you go through and set the dips for the mode you want you and and you do need to cycle power uh, to get it to it, it only reads the dip switch settings on power up so if you change them either just unplug the seven pin connector and plug it back in or power the game off and on and then as this thing boots which happens really fast as well um, it reads these the state of these dip switches in and then configures it.